Welcome back guys. It was a long time ago since I did my last video or at least published my last video. Today I wanted to share a little bit about what's going on and what have been going on and what you can expect in the future because I have not put down YouTube. I just haven't had the time lately. So I had to take a little bit of a break and do a normal work and also take care of the family and work on some other things. My solar system is up and running as you can see and uh, even though I have the cables lying around and the computer on the half on that side and the reason for that is that I have done another rebuild the solar system currently is producing I would say around 80 to 90 kilowatt hours per day when the sun is out thinking of actually getting one more green mean machine um, it's not that I really like them as such but I need a little bit more power to my house so we'll see about that as you may be aware of I have changed a lot of cables around my house as well and here you can see some of the ground cables that have been dug out and switched out the reason for that is because I am walking from four wire cables or four wire system to a five wire system instead and that to make sure that I can run it all through my inverter. If you remember one of my earlier videos, I did not have the right side boxes. And the reason for that change is, as you can see here, I have not marked them up yet. But my mains is now coming into this box here from the grid. And here you have the connection for the main grid connection. If you look at the meter currently, you can see I'm drawing around 30, 60 watt from the grid and that's because my system is not up and running controlling it. Um, those two meters goes to my both normal houses and in this box here we have the meter for the garage. So now everything is metered. Here we have outgoing to the solar system and coming back to the solar system and here is where I can switch between the solar system and the grid manually. This system is about to be hooked up to the Raspberry Pi system uh, so I can control and monitor everything and this is really nice. I got the electrician here just the other day and we did this swap and now I'm 100% on solar. Uh, the only thing I need to make sure to figure out is this part here where I actually can control the output from the inverter so it always stays at zero. Um, I could potentially just shut down the grid here and that will work just fine and my system will continue to work. So if I take this meter here and shut it off, you will see that that one turned off. Meanwhile those meters that are to the house are still running and that's because my solar system did take over. So let's turn the grid on again and now my inverter will start the synchronization. The inverter is now synchronizing the grid power. It's a little bit hard to see but you can see it there that there's no link between those and it will in a couple of seconds go up to the grid instead. And there it switched over to grid and it will soon start up the normal phase as well as you can see. Unfortunately this lamp in here always blinks and that's the nature of it. The rest of the lithium packs are almost prepared. I have two more sets of long mount that they need to be installed and then they're going up. I still have plenty of laptop cells to process. Um, the processing unit is still running for full and this should potentially give me another 20 kilowatt hours of storage that I have been talking about before. There have also been other projects ongoing of course, this is the latest one we did this weekend. Uh, as you can see I have one pile of wood there, we had one even bigger one in the middle that we did this weekend. All those parts are cut and split into pieces and already up in that part or in the house itself. Uh, that was dry wood, that is wet wood, that is that pile, and that should be done in short as well, and stuff like that takes time. My excavator that you can see in the background is most likely sold, and will be swapped out to a newer version or a better version. And uh, we'll see how that goes, and I hope for that. I have done a couple of other projects as well. This one is with a 7 inch LCD screen where I 3D printed a case. Uh, I will be showing this in short in a video 
uh, I don't even remove the plastic. This is a touch screen for controlling the solar system, so that's not coming. I also have this other camera that I'm reviewing that will be coming up as well. With some luck you can also find the camera on my lawnmower again, working again. So if you want, check that out and see the lawnmower in progress. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that update. It was a little bit of a short update. I have a lot of video already shot that I need to edit and get up and running. Um, the time is very, very limited. So I wanted to at least give you some sort of an update. I'm not, I'm not dead. I'm still on the forum. I'm still on the Facebook page. And if you email me or send me a message, I will answer as soon as possible. So I want to thank you for watching. And now I'm going to get this video uploaded so you get something to watch at least. So thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye.